Today on the show, we're taking a look at the DC Comics, The Phantom, number two, from April of 1989, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. As I said today, we're taking a look at DC Comics, The Phantom, number two, from April of 1989. This is the second part of a story we started uh, in the last video. This is the conclusion. It's made by the same team, or created by the same team that created issue number one. And as I said before, what DC did with The Phantom is very reminiscent of the old uh, newspaper strips. Uh, it's like they started it feeling that they wanted to do a black and white story, like the newspaper strips, and then they just added color on top of that. So there wasn't a super lot of shading. Uh, it was more or less solid colors, uh, solid blacks without any fading or anything, a lot of cross-hatching. Uh, for those of you who don't know, cross-hatching would be these little individual lines. Uh, they usually go in one direction or the other, sometimes cross-hatching, doing both ways at the same time and fading out. Uh, but that's what it looks like here to me. Now, where we left off, this is Guns Part 2. Uh, it retells the story of Kit Walker and the Phantom about his good mark and everything. Uh, where we left off, the Phantom was surrounded by gun runners. He doesn't have much of a chance. The main bad guy is talking to him and then he finally tells the guys to kill him. Because he was surrounded in a circle, uh, this gave him a little bit of an advantage because it limited, it limited the, the mercenary's ability to fire. Uh, so he was able to do duck behind some crates and shoot out the lights. And then by the time the lights were out, he starts picking them off one by one. Until eventually all that's left is the leader. And the leader ends up dropping a grenade, which blows the shit up. ship up. <laughs> blows the shit up. Blows the ship up. And he, f he thinks the Phantom is dead. No one could have survived that blast. But this is the Phantom we're talking about. We then join Diana Palmer, who's just woken up from a nightmare. Uh, her and Kit Walker are connected. They're true loves. Uh, she can feel when he's in danger. Her mom comes in, checks on her and everything. Uh, then we return back to the leader of the uh, mercenaries, who's at a hotel. He paid for the hotel in advance, but the owner of the hotel and his employees come in and pretty much boot him out give him his advance back. He's now marked. Uh, he's not physically marked with the skull mark of the uh, Phantom, uh, but his door was marked. There is no escape, uh, which means his soul is marked. Uh, no one is able to help him now. He's trying to escape. He's trying to leave uh, the country, uh, but no one will help him. Uh, they throw him out of the hotel uh, no one on the street will help him. Take him to the airport. The airport will not help him at all. He's marked. The Phantom rules this nation, rules this land. So he meets up with an American who is giving, uh, selling him the, selling him the weapons to, uh, sell to both sides. He ends up killing him and taking his car. Uh, goes to a bar with one si where one side of the uh, gr uh, one side of the Civil War are having drinks, and they know he's been funding, bo uh, giving firepower to both sides. They refuse to help him. He goes to the old man who was telling the story in the first issue and asks how to uh, stop the Phantom, uh, and the old man won't tell him. Picks him up, and that's when the old man tells him. Uh, to fin he tells him the rest of the story that he started in the first issue. Uh, the Phantom and the mercenaries. The Phantom captured these mercenaries, put them back on the boat, told them to go back to Bengala and turn themselves in. Uh, all the mercenaries decided to stay on the boat except for the captain and first mate uh, who escaped. They ran into some trouble. The captain hallucinated, thought he killed the Phantom when actually he killed his first mate and ended up uh, getting caught by the uh, Harbor Patrol or whatever, and the Phantom. He's got the whole old man up, you know, and the Phantom finally shows himself and told, tells him to release him. 
chases them outside into into the rain and all that. They're fighting through the jungle until eventually the phantom chases them all the way into the middle of the Civil War. And he leaves them there. Because at this point, both sides know that he's been supplying guns to them. So now he's caught in the middle of the Civil War. And the phantom leaves without a care and returns to the Skull Cave. And that's pretty much the story. Uh, like I said with issue one, DC really did the Phantom right. The colors, they focused more on the villains than the hero himself, which is how the Phantom should be done. Uh, I just can't say it enough. DC knows how to do the Phantom. And I kind of wish Dynamite would uh, take some pointers from DC on the Phantom. In the King issues, uh, King the Phantom and all that, they focus more on the Phantom and not enough on, not as much on the villains. They also do more bright, vibrant colors, a lot more shading and everything. Uh, the Phantom was always meant to be in the style of the newspaper strip. The colors, there's no fading or anything. It's just solid colors with cross hatching. It's just done so perfectly. I, I can't say it enough. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say about this, guys. Uh, DC really did the Phantom right. I. I don't have any problems with the story at all. Uh, so if you can, find DC's interpretation of the Phantom from 1989. Uh, some good stories. These are the only two issues I got from DC's line. Uh, I'm planning on getting some more once I get a chance. So with that being said, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you stay up to date on all videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you next time.